In this video, we'll be looking at the new Bamboo Lab Cool Plate SuperTac, a um, build plate that purports to solve the problems of first layer adhesion. And uh, I've been using it now for a couple of months, and uh, let me tell you, it totally works. Uh, it has this sort of hard rubber coating. I don't know what it is, but things stick like glue. Matter of fact, things stick better than glue. Uh, and the other advantage to me is I love this smooth, smooth coating that it puts on the part that you've just made. The best looking part is not the ironed part at the top. The best looking part will be the surface that touches this plate. Now, we should compare it with the standard textured PEI plate. And I'll print out two Sony rear lens caps and we can see how they differ and how they compare. But this one's well known and uh, you know it's good but this is better. So let's get those two parts built and um, see how they compare. We have the standard textured PEI plate with our Sony rear lens cap printed in basic plain white filament and we have the cool plate super tack. And let's try to pull this off. This has been a few hours, by the way, since uh, it came out of the printer. That's attached. And uh, if we look at the back, I don't know how visible this will be, but it is smooth, 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 smooth. I absolutely love this smoothness. This is the cleanest looking surface you can get. Absolutely. All right. Let's try the textured PEI plate. This has also been cooled off. And we'll see how this, and this, <laughs> this has already just fallen off. It, uh, cooling it, released it. And uh, if you see the side, it's quite textured um, and has that sort of rough surface. Uh, let's see about cleaning this plate. And this stuff just falls right off. No issues. And let's put that aside and let's try cleaning the cool plate <coughs> super tack. And this, I can tell you from experience, will get embedded under your fingernail and hurt like hell. And it takes several tries and you have to work at it. Eventually you can get it, but much harder. And it's very much harder when you do this with um, brims or supports or anything that's been cooling for a while. Uh, it can take a while. Now, unfortunately, you can't use a tool to remove uh, that stuck filament because if you do, you'll be removing the rubber coating at the same time. I know from experience, and I had to throw one away. So you're left with your hands. You can bend the plate a little bit, and you can scrape it off, but I would never use a metal tool for pulling anything off this thing, even though it is stuck. Now, while we're talking about some negatives, um, let me also bring up the fact that bamboo considers this to be a consumable that the coating will not last forever, and eventually you're going to need to replace the plate. Hopefully not because you've scraped something off like I did. Um, but of course that's gotta be like spools and spools and spools and spools before that's gonna happen. Now another slight negative I discovered is that um, PLA Silk does not have any official settings for this. So if you want to use an official setting in the slicer, you're gonna have to use the textured plate. I think that's about it. I mean, this thing is great. So the bottom line is I absolutely love this. I will always use this. Things stick on this thing like you can't believe. No spoiled prints. Super smooth finish. I'm sold, sold, sold. But watch out. It's, you're going to be spending some time uh, pulling stuff off of this thing. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe if you can, and thank you for watching.